Hi, hi, I see people. It's your relationship expert, Isabel, popularly known as I see the expert. Okay, as you can see, I'm really running late to work today. But as you all know, I can't go to work without saying hi to my people. So that's exactly what I'm here to do this morning. So today, I want to just give a very quick one. I want to talk about abusing relationship. I don't know, like, why do you have to stay in an abusive relationship? You don't want to talk to anybody about it and you don't want to leave. Listen, listen, let me tell you this. It has started and it's not going to end. Don't think there is an end to it. Just leave before you die. That's what I've come to say. Don't say he will change. He's not going to change or she's not going to change. He has started it. There is no end to it. So please talk to someone. I know some of you are bothered about what people are going to say. What will people say if you die? Rest in peace. That's the end. Or maybe you're worried about your children. But what I need you to know is that your children need you alive. Okay? Your children really need you in life and you know, you can't be, you can't leave them at the mercy of another woman or someone else taking care of them. <laughs> All right, people. Everything okay? Did you just ask me if everything is okay? Oscar, I needed to use my debit card for lunch and I discovered it wasn't there. And then out of nowhere, I got a debit alert of 140,000 during meeting and I've been restless. Only to come back now to discover that you spent 140,000 naira on just a top and a trouser. So? First of all, why would you steal my card from my bag? First of all, I did not steal your card from your bag. I took it. You are my wife and I will take your card whenever I want it. Why would you spend my money without my permission? I don't need your permission to spend your money. Oscar, I earn 250,000 Naira a month. How can you spend over half of my salary on just a trouser and a top? You don't get to tell me what I spend my money on, do you? Then you get your own job and spend that the money you Shut up your mouth! Shut up your mouth! How many times have I warned you never to rub my joblessness on my face? Oscar, you hit me again. I will hit you again and again until you realize that I am the man of this house. And you do not question my orders. Even when you squander my heart and money without my permission. My money is my money. Your money is my money. No. You need to get a job so you can squander your money the way you want it. Now listen. And listen real good because I will not repeat myself again. You do the working, I spend the money. And you don't question me. Okay?
What is it? Why are you touching me? Why are you doing this now? Doing what? You are my wife for, for, for crying out loud. Yeah, my wife for crying out loud. And so? I'm your wife. Is that why you, you, you will not let me sleep? You want to touch me? Or, or you think if by touching me, I will now open my legs for you to do your normal style? No, is that what you think? What do you mean by my normal style? What style? You don't know your normal style. Let me show you. Ah! That's all you do, Richard. That's all you've been doing ever since we got married. Even before we got married. Richard, I am tired. Hey, listen, if you're tired of that style, you tell me. Tell me what you want and, I, and I'll give it to you. Do you understand? Am I supposed to teach you how to be a man? Baby, I am trying. I am trying to satisfy you and you know it. Richard, you are not trying. You are not trying. Tell me what you want. I want you to tie my hands. Tie my legs, Richard. Open them wide. Give it to me from front, from back, from the middle. Richard, use USB cord to wipe my neck. Choke me. Have you not seen when men choke their wives, their girlfriends? Choke me. I won't die. I will enjoy it. Richard, spice this relationship up. Spice our sex life up. Is that too much to ask? So, th this is what you call spice? Yes. This is what I call spice. And that's what you want? Exactly. That's what you really want? That is what I want. Tie me up and make me feel like a woman. Good night. Richard. Richard, you just say good night. Gosh. This wasn't the marriage that I pictured in my head. This wasn't the marriage that I pictured when I agreed to marry you, Richard. Richard, what is wrong with you? Why are you boring? Why? You make me sick. You make me sick. You're so dull. You're... I swear I will show you the man I am made of. Why did you change your phone passcode? Oscar, please can this wait till Sandra leaves? No, stop it! Why? Why did you change it? Huh? Oh, I am going to give you another opportunity to answer this question. If you don't! Isabel, why did you change it? I, I was... I was tired of you withdrawing money randomly from my account for meaningless things. Oh! So your lovely husband now withdraws your money for meaningless things? Are you trying to say I cannot have access to your money? No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that if you need money, you should ask me. You get a sack of your mouth! I said it. Say it! started again. Eh? What's going on? Hi, babe. Richard, what is going on? You're back. Dinner. Dinner is going on. What do you mean by dinner? Who I... sent you? Uh -uh. Babe. What is uh -uh? Richard Chinonsu Opoko? Who asked you to make dinner? 
Okay, you, you were running late, so I thought it's normal I fish something for us to eat. It is not normal. It is very abnormal for you to make dinner. Babe, you're confusing me. No, you confuse me all the time. You make me sick. What is it? Sometimes I wonder if you're a man or I am the man. I feel like we're two women living in the same house. Like this is some girl's hostel. What is wrong with you? I was only trying to help. What's my offense? You know what? I... I had a long day at work today. So I'm not ready for this drama. This is the problem. When will you ever be ready, Richard? When will you ever be ready for drama? Why are you saving the drama? Why are you saving the drama? Let it out. Do something crazy. Just go crazy for crying out loud. Can't you? What have you done? What does it look like? What does it look like? Oscar, please. I had a long day today as well. Can I just want to go to bed? Oh, yeah. We are going to go to bed together. That's what we're about to do now, right? You don't get it. I mean, I want to sleep. I guess you're going to sleep when I'm done with you. Oscar, please, let's not do this tonight. I beg you. Oscar, Oscar. Don't you care? Don't you care? What do you mean? Do, do, do I think you care? I said I just want to sleep. You don't have a say in this house. Okay? Don't tell me what to do. I do what I want to do. Have you forgotten? I'm talking to you. Oscar, what is it now? What is it? Do you want to enjoy me? Have you forgotten so soon the ridiculous bright bright that people took from me? Hey, what is it now? What? What? What is my... What is my problem? What is, sorry, what is my problem? No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Listen, please, I'm sorry. it is not about you, okay? This is about what I want and I will get it, okay? Don't open this. Please, I don't want that. Shut up! Shut up! Oh, God, this
Hi, I see people. It's um, it's a brand new day, and another day to encourage people in relationships and marriages. The word I'm giving out today is this. There's a difference between patience and endurance. You can have a partner who is not doing well enough or someone who is not making much progress. But being in a relationship where you are abused, maltreated, taken for granted and unwanted, you are not being patient, you are only enduring. And I'm here to tell you that the end of that tunnel might not guarantee light. You need to quit that relationship today. Just walk out, walk away. Okay? Or marriage today before you die. Thank you. And have a good day. Bye. Cocky and run out of the house. Mm-hmm. Are you going somewhere? Am I not allowed to? Of course you are. But the last time I checked, you chose to be a housewife. Do you have a job now? So are you saying that people who don't have jobs cannot wake up, dress up and go out? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Listen, Sandra, if you're going somewhere, I, I can drop you off. Richard, I am not letting you drop me off. I am taking this car. This is my car. Then get mine. But till then, I'll keep using this one. Sandra, I am not cut out for this whole drama. I am late for work already. Richard, like I said before, I am taking this car and there's nothing you can do about it. Perhaps you want to show me what you can actually do you as a man. You can't even drive. You don't even have a driver's license. Really? Is that what you think? That I can't drive? I don't have a driver's license. Watch me drive. You know what? Keep the key. I'll get a ride. Really? Richard! Is that all you will say? You will get a ride? What kind of a man did I marry for goodness sake? What kind of a husband? Can't you fight? Can't you just drag me? Can't you beat me? Can't you do something crazy? Must you always walk out like a coward? Gosh! I wasn't planning to use this car, but I'll use it anyways.
Am I in trouble? My lovely wife. It all depends on your cooperation. There is a new development. Okay. So I went to the bank and I opened a new account. I mean, a joint account for you and I. Why? I don't think we need that. Well, actually, we do need it. Um, henceforth, you will transfer your money everything you have in their account to our joint account. No. No, Watska. That cannot happen. This is just a scope for you to have access to every penny I make. We both know you don't do anything, so there's nothing you're going to be depositing in that account. Are you trying to go against my orders? Listen. No, you listen! You listen! I am going to forward the details to you. And you will transfer everything you have in your account to our account. Because henceforth, your salary will be paid into that account. Do I make myself clear? Do I make myself clear? Good. It's fine. Oh. My lovely wife. Oh, come on inside and freshen up, okay? Oh, welcome back from work. I missed you. to you. Can you at least let me sit before I fall down? Babe, what happened? 
Where is my car? What sort of question is this one now, Richard? Eh? Mama, my car is not there. Well, where is it? Are you blind? I went out with your car and came back with a broken forehead and bruises on my face. Is it not obvious that, that I was involved in an accident? Are you out of your mind? Are you alright? You left this house this morning without my consent. You left with my car and here you are seated telling me you have an accident with my car. Without remorse? Are you alright? For real? Remorse? Richard! What should I be remorseful about? That I was involved in an accident? Is that why I should be remorseful? No, that you took my car out and here you are without it! I warned you, Sandra! I warned you! I told you! So? You want me, yeah? What do you want to do? Beat me? Nobody's talking about beating anybody here. I just want my car. Where is it? Where Did is my car? Stop! Shouting, okay? If you know that you are a man, Richard, get me! Where is my car? I am not telling you where your car is until you beat me. Since you want to beat me, Richard, beat me! Okay, I am sorry for everything. I am sorry for the injuries, the bruises, everything. I am sorry for shouting at you. I just need you to tell me where you kept my car. What happened to my car? I am not saying a word to you, Richard. Beat me. Prove that you're a man. Beat me! Sandra, I am not going to beat you. Just tell me where the car is. Okay, I won't shout again. I, I need to know what happened to my car. Richard, if you know, if you know that you're a true son of your father, beat me! Beat me up! I know you were looking for who to kill you, right? You know what? You won't make me a murderer. Alright? Tell me where you kept my car. Where is it? I said I am not saying a word to you. If you want to know where your car is, beat me up! giving you the grace of tonight. If I don't see my car in the morning, you will see the beast in me. Really? Why not start now, Richard? Why not start now? Don't stay me. What will you do, Richard? Beat me! Beat me! Are you a big man? Richard, beat me! Come back here and beat me! Why are you running away? Come back and fight! Fight like a man! Stop running like a coward! Richard, this is not over. Come back and beat me. Just say anything, anything you say, it's going to be fine. Just say anything. I'm pregnant. <laughs> is that what I think it is? I'm pregnant, just go. Do you know what that means? It means we're finally having a child after one year plus. No. It means you have to double your hustle. 
you have to work hard. Because I mean, a child is coming and when a baby is coming, it requires plenty of money to take care of the baby. Oscar, why do you make it sound like I'm really one responsible for this? I mean, you can also get something doing yourself. Something like what? Listen, we both know you can't get your dream job, but it's so sad. How about you just lower your standard and just look for whatever it is you can do, just so that you can contribute to the welfare of the family by expecting a child. And the other day I overheard my boss saying he needs a personal driver. If I'm to say, I will say you should just stay here. Shut up, you out! Shut up, you out! You want me to apply for the role of a driver? Is that how low you think of me? Isabel, so because you have a degree, you think you're more superior to me? No. You're not getting No, you are not getting the point because you're not listening to yourself! Huh? You want me to be your boss's driver, right? So this is your own way of ridiculing me. Isabel, you have been sleeping with your boss. What? You are pregnant for your boss and you want to pin it on her. Ah, 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 just hold it there. Hold it right there. I've taken a lot from you, but I won't take this. Have you insinuated I'm sleeping with my boss? How dare you say that? Isabel. You don't shout for me. 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 Oh, oh, oh. Isabel. Come again. I will kill you today! If you go out, you come back here, I will kill you! You will know that I am the man of this house! <sighs> oh. Isabel! Hey! Isabel! Okay, no problems! No problem in this house! Hi. Uh, good. Good morning. Good morning. Come in. Is everything all right? Yeah. yeah everything. This one you'll get this earlier. Everything is fine. Okay. How is your husband? He's he's doing great. Is Sandra around? Yeah, I I will let her know you're here. All right. Thank you. Here she comes. Isabel, yeah? You didn't tell me you were coming. I actually didn't plan coming. Um, I have to go to work. All right. Do have a nice day. You too. Be good. I don't know what to do with Oscar. How? Oscar is getting worse by the day. And I'm tired of pretending to my fans like I have a perfect marriage. Every now and then I preach against domestic violence, whereas I'm an everyday victim. <laughs> Isabel, what are you saying? Honestly, what are you saying? Don't tell me you, you left your house to come complain about your husband. What is domestic violence? Is that what you call domestic violence? Isabel, that is what I call taking charge. Taking charge? Yes. Sandra, 
Can you hear yourself? Loud and clear. Well, I obviously don't expect you to understand me because you've not walked in my shoes. You don't know what God did for you. What did God do for me? So you think God did something great for me by letting me get married to that only Jesus who I call your husband? Sandra! Yes! Isabel, I made a very big mistake agreeing to get married to Richard. Okay? Sometimes I feel like I am the man of this house. I feel like I am a man. I want a man that can control me. But Richard, he's too gentle, he's too soft, too nice, too... God, I do not even know how to describe Richard. But Sandra, is that not every girl's dream? No, oh, please, speak for yourself. This isn't my dream. <laughs> well, I don't pray for you to be in my position. Well, I pray to be in your position. Because that is actually when I will feel like I am truly married. You know, growing up, I watched my dad beat my mom every night after drinking. And after beating her to his satisfaction, he would turn to me and say, real men beat their wives. That if a man doesn't beat you, he doesn't love you. So you see, Richard doesn't love me. Sandra, you need help. You need help, Isabel, because you do not know what God has done for you. You should be grateful. What do you want? Should I offer you anything? Oh, please don't give me that look. I know that Isabel went on a business trip with her boss. So I know you are alone. So why are you here then? Hmm. For you, of course. What do you think? For me? Yeah. Can you at least offer me a drink? You still haven't said why you're here. Come on, Oscar. Stop acting now. Stop acting like you don't know. I like you. Yeah. And since Isabel is in home, don't you think it's time we explore? Hey, 
very handsome. I know you didn't see this coming, right? But you don't know how much I have longed for this day. Sometimes I wish I met you before she did. Gosh. You're my kind of man. My speck. You have everything a woman wants in a man. You're cute. Dark. Tall. Gosh. I love men who can dominate. Men who can control an alpha female like me. I want you, Oscar. And if you want me to, then we are good. Um, uh, you see, um, Sandra, Isabel is... Uh... Oh, please. Forget about Isabel. She doesn't deserve you. Do you know how many times she complains about you? Make you look like a beast. Listen, I... Uh, I... Uh, my husband is a weakling in bed. But you are not. And that's why I want you so much. I want you to handle me like you handle Isabel in bed. So can we... No. Let's go to the hotel. Why? Oh, because that's where I'm going to explore your body. Okay? Let me get my arches. Okay. Sit down. everybody Isabel hey sis Isabel Isabel sis where is everybody 
Isabel! Isabel! Oh my God! What happened to you? Isabel! Are you okay? What happened to you? Were you attacked by robbers? Where is your husband? Isabel, what happened to you? What tied you up? Should, should I, should, should I call, call the police? I, I, are we safe here? Let me go get my phone. No, 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 it's okay. It's not fine. Where is your husband? My husband does not have anything to do with this. So where is he? He, he left the house very early this morning in search of a job. So what happened? Immediately he left. Robbers broke into the house, tied me up, and then went about the operation. Robbers? But this house does not look like it was broken into. So you think I'm lying? No, 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 no. no is I'm, there anything to lie I'm, about? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Please just give me my first drink, please. Oh, oh, okay. I'll be back shortly. Just give me my first drink. Losing it. This woman is pushing me to the wall. And if I lose it, I will become the bad one. Why can't she just understand me for crying out loud? I am trying my best to be calm, to be responsible, to be loving, yet she doesn't want it. She doesn't want peace. Everyone is talking about domestic violence. Domestic violence, but there are some women who who, who 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 bring out the worst in a man. She is one of them. To tempt you, to push you, to frustrate you, and at the end of the day, to bring out the best in you. And honestly, I am close to being that best. She will not like me. She will not like me at all. She would not like me. Hi, AC people. Um, this is a makeup video for the video I missed this morning. I'll be speaking quickly on signs to look out for during courtship. Now, are you a lady who intends to be a career driven woman, rich and successful in your field? Is your partner the type to be intimidated by his woman's success? Such man will do anything to prove he is superior, even if that means using his physical strength on you. <sighs> now, this domestic violence is not just for the women. Also, for a man in a relationship, are you in a relationship with a nagging, troublesome, and rebellious woman? You might want to have a rethink about that relationship. Because such woman might make you do the unthinkable one day. So, my people. I 
it. Hey. Are you speaking to someone? I thought you were in bed. No. It's almost 12 a.m. and uh, your husband is not at home. I mean, don't worry. <laughs> don't worry yourself. Just go to bed. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. I mean, he actually called. He'll be coming back soon. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Good, good night. All right, good night. I am talking to you. Where are you coming from? And who is asking? Are you crazy? Oh, wow! Are you out of your mind? Wow! Really? My husband now has balls. Hmm. Listen, Sandra, you will tell me where a married woman like you spent the night. I owe you no explanation to where I spent the night, Richard. Listen, let me tell you. See that madness? See that, see, 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 see that madness you've been looking for? You will get it today. You go job out well, well, well. Now start talking. Where did you spend the night? And if I don't, what will you do? No, Richard, what will you do? Do your worst! I should do my worst. Do it, Richard! <laughs> I don't know what's keeping him, sis. Mm, maybe you should just try tracking him and find out exactly where he is. That's exactly what I'm trying to. Good morning, Oscar. What's wrong with him? Maybe he didn't get the job. Hmm. Are you sure everything is okay with him? Because I don't think so. Of course everything is fine. Why are you being unnecessarily bothered? Isabel, did you see the way your husband walked past us like we are non-living things? Like I said, everything is fine. Now, wow. Just find out where the Uber man is. Okay, he's here. All right. Let me walk you. Oh. Mm. I'm going to miss you. <laughs> My mother called. She's coming in. And I don't know how long she's staying. But regardless, she must not find out that I'm jobless. Are you not deaf and dumb? What am I supposed to do with that information? Did you hear what I said? I heard you, but what am I supposed to do with information? Your mom is coming. That's between you and her. I'm going to repeat myself. My mother must not find out that you take care of almost all your expenses. <laughs> all the expenses you mean? Shut up your mouth! You know better than try to solve it with me. If my mother finds out, I will kill you. I know you can. I mean, that's the only thing you haven't done to me. Go ahead. Go ahead and kill me, Oscar, if that would make you happy. I will. Of course, I will kill you. And you know the fun part of it? 
I will kill you, I will bury you, and nobody will do anything about it. Not even your stupid sister. Rubbish. Where were you last night? You tied me up and you left with those ridiculous sex tools of yours. I don't want to believe it's what I'm thinking. And what if it is what you're thinking? Then you are unbelievable, Oscar. Oscar, I pay the rent. I feed you. I clothe you. And you still have the audacity to cheat on me. You're talking to me like that! Are you talking to me like that? Oscar, let's go. I know my... I'm your doctor! Oscar! I'm your doctor! Oscar, now listen! 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 Oh, so you, 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 you now have a voice! Hmm? You suddenly have a voice! Not in this house, Isabel! Not in this you house! Lie, you lie, Shut your mouth! Shut your mouth! Listen! I don't care who you are! I don't want to know the degrees you have, a motivational speaker, relationship expert, I don't care! Not in this house, you don't have a voice! You don't have you a lie. voice! I have a voice! You lie, I have a voice! I know what I deserve! I just know what I deserve! Shut up your mouth! Shut up your mouth! Do you want to talk? Do you still want to talk? Do you want to talk? Rubbish! 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 Remove your leg from my stomach because you're pregnant. Don't do this. Oh, please. you are pregnant. You are pregnant. That bastard in your stomach will Oscar. die. Will die. Oscar, die. Die. Oscar. Rubbish. Rubbish. Stupid fool. Break my heart. Oh, I am bleeding. I am hurting in this ocean of pain. I am confused. Why the abuse? I have given you everything, everything for you. Why are you hurting me? Tell me what I did wrong. I gave you all my heart. For now, when I've seen it is not working anymore. Oh. Oh. Can I help you inside? You didn't like me. Richard, do you know that I would have been a dead person by now? If not because that doctor is an expert. But thank God you didn't die. It wasn't my intention to kill you either. At least for once in your life, you've acted like a man. Hey, are you for real? What are you saying? I am saying that you still have work to do. Listen, listen, Sandra, I am not in this with you. Do you understand? You're not normal. You need help. And I won't have you drag me into this mess again. I am normal. Very normal. You still have a lot to learn. You need to learn from Oscar. He is a real man. And do not forget to ask him his techniques in bed. Sandra. Yes, I am here. 
Now take the bag from him and take it into the room. Take the bag. Go, go, go. She never knows anything. She never knows. That's why she doesn't know that by this time there should be children running around this compound. Hey, Mama, don't bother yourself, okay? Your journey was a long one. So don't waste your strength on irrelevant matters like her. I disagree with you. Sometimes you need to talk about irrelevant things so that the people involved would know what they ought to do. Uh, you're right, Mama. She is an idiot. No. How do you even cope with her? Well, good thing you're here so you can see how I cope with her. See, I'm crying, but how do you cope with her in the bedroom? Mama, she's bored. <gasps> no wonder you people don't have children. Oh, Mama, you're here. I need to teach her one more thing. You will have to. I know. My sweet mother. <laughs> What are you doing here? Why is my mother's food not saved? Why? Have you forgotten you're in possession of all my money and you didn't drop a cup of food? Hold on. Are you trying to see that you did not make something for my mother to eat? Am I supposed to go to the market with a gun? Isabel, my mother just came and it's going to be too early for her to realize how irresponsible you are. So go to the kitchen now and make something delicious for my mother to eat. Oscar, maybe you think I'm putting your legs but I'm not. I'm telling you the truth. I mean absolutely nothing. Shut up your mouth! Go ahead. Go ahead. Hit me more. I hope it's not too early for your mother to see the most that she raised. Isabel. Isabel. Do not push me. Do not push me. Else I will make you regret the very day you agree to be my wife. Something delicious, my mother, to eat. Give me one. Haska, do me a favor. Hmm? Tell your mother that you killed our child. Because the next time she calls me Baron, I will do so. Don't you leave me. Now listen. I know you're too smart to do that because you don't want to die, right? Yeah, I guess right. I'm giving you one hour, one hour to make something nice for my mother. Yeah, come. 
come back in. Hmm. What is this? Nicolai, Nicholas, Ninesi. No, what is this? Mama, it's your food. What? Your book, huh? No, are you joking? Mama, don't bother yourself. This is a prank. Did you know prank means? Uh, yes, it's, it's a prank. Right. So, my darling wife, go in there and bring that special delicacy I asked you to prepare for my lovely mother here. My darling husband, I don't know what you're talking about. And this is not a prank. This is what I could afford with the money you gave to me. Hold on. Uh, are you saying the 50,000 naira? What? That I gave you to make something special for my lovely mother. And th this is all you could make. Jello, Jolana, you gave her 50,000 50, naira. Yes, Mama. 50,000 naira. And this is all she could make with the money. Mama. Will you shut up your mouth? Shut up! Go to talk! Oh. She wants to talk. Oscar, why are you shut, shut, shut up! Shut up! Shut up your mouth! Shut up! Use the soup and wash it down! Use the soup, wash it down! I mean, how can she prepare this for your, your, your mother? Your mother-in-law! The woman that gave birth to your husband! Not talking, breastfed him! Especially this left breast for three years! Ah, uh -uh. This is what you come up with! Anyway, I don't blame you. This is obviously the kind of food that you deserve. But if you can know you see us, no one with the silver spoon. <laughs> you deserve something better than this. You know what, Osa? I'd rather go to bed or I'm there to stop than feed myself with this voice. No, it's okay. You can give her the stuff to, to eat. It's like it stinks. Like shit. What is this? You want to this with me? I will. I'm sorry, please. I'm, I'm really sorry. you so much. Sandra, what is it? Why are you calling by this time? Who are you scared of? Your wife? But well, shouldn't be calling by this time of the night now. Come on, Oscar. I can't get that night out of my head. Gosh, that has been my best sex ever. Well, um, I must confess, um, you were sweet, you know. My wife hasn't given it to me the way you gave it to me. Oh, you were, oh, you were sweet. Really? So, are you saying we should do it again? Of course, of course. All right then, just um, book another hotel and tell me time and place and I'll meet you there. Oh, no, pr no problem. Okay. All right. Have a good night. I can't wait to see you.
me without even greeting me. <laughs> Wait, can you even imagine that she's shouting my son's name like she gave birth to him without respect? Even I, his mother, has never shouted his name like that. What kind of nonsense is this? Anyway, I do not really blame him. I blame my son because I warned him not to marry a graduate that she would intimidate him and ride him and he wouldn't listen. Off you. Mama, where is Oscar? Where is Oscar? Where is he? Where is he? I need to speak to him this minute. I lost my job today all thanks to you. Yes, all thanks to Oscar. You lost your job? Oh, or some god that answered it by fire. You lost your job. This is great news. Great news. Now you don't have to worry yourself, you know, like trying to get up to rush up to work. Mm -mm. You take your time now and allow my son give it to you. You see that early morning love making is the best. That's the one you take part in and why? Twins. Twins, you will conceive twins. I can't believe this. Mama, is this what you have to say? Okay, fine. So now that I've lost my job, uh -huh. who is going to be paying for the expenses of this house? Is that the one that is bothering you? <laughs> Please let it fly. Is my son crippled? No! I mean, who has been taking care of the expenses in the first place? Eh? Has anyone been worried? Do not worry your head. Just concentrate on working on your womb and let my son do the need for. All right? <laughs> <sighs> What? You're very stupid. Your mates are out there with twins, quadruplex. In Alabama, never you're going to work. You're going to work. Which work? Stay back and allow my son give it to you. In short, this night, eh? You must conceive. Agme suwe bowagi ngada. Stay there. My son will give you twins. I promise you. All right? Because he is a capable boy. Almost there. Oh yes. Nonsense. What's going on here? Richard, what's the meaning of this? Why are my things outside? Am I not talking to you? Or have you suddenly gone deaf? Also because I spent one night out of this house. And that's why you 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 had the audacity to, to bring my things out here. Really? Where are you coming from? Oscar, I'm asking you, where are you coming from? Is this the first time you're sleeping out in this house without telling me? In the first place, why would a married woman sleep out? Why? So, yeah, I slept out. So? Listen, Sandra, I don't know who sent you. I don't know what you're doing in my life. I don't know what you're trying to achieve. 
But I have to make this clear to you. Go back to whoever sent you and tell them you didn't see me. Right? <laughs> because I won't let you push me into becoming the beast I never wanted to be. It is very obvious to me that you're done with this marriage. And I would appreciate it if you pack up your things and leave peacefully. Leave? Really? Leave to where, Richard? I don't know. I don't care. Meanwhile, you'll be getting a message from my lawyer. <laughs> oh, God. You know, you're actually not funny. Well, Richard, you won't be the one to tell me when to leave. I will leave when I am done with you. As soon as I get done with you, Richard, I will pack my things and leave this house. Till then, you are stuck with me in this house. Rubbish. If you know how you brought my things down, take them back to me. I am not joking with you. I am not joking with you either. Congratulations, my dear husband. You finally achieved your aim of tying me down when I was supposed to be on a business trip with my boss. Yes, I lost the job, the job that fits you and I. I lost it, so what now? What? You even had the guts to book a hotel room with my hard-earned money, Oscar, and spend the night with some hope? Are you saying it is my fault that pervert of a boss sacked you for missing a dick appointment? Are you out of your mind? Shut up, you mouth! Shut up! Oscar, let this be the first and the last time you will ever raise your hands on me. If you try it, if you try it, you will live the rest of your life regretting your existence. <gasps> Oscar! So you don't have the guts to talk back at me? You're shouting at me! You are even threatening me! Yes! I am threatening you! I am threatening you, Oscar! Are you crazy? Yes, I am crazy! I am crazy! You are driving me crazy, Oscar! And I have had it up to here! I am sick and tired of living with a beast and acting like I'm fine! Oh! Oh! See! Hold! Are you talking to me like that? Are you aware of what is this house? I don't care! You don't want- I don't care! I don't care! You're talking to me like- Yes! I am- Don't you dare! Don't you dare! If you dare it! If you dare it! You see the other side of me you've never seen. Rubbish! Huh? So... You want to beat my son? So this is how you've been fighting him, right? Ah! Wonders will never end. How dare you! No, no, how dare you touch my son? Are you stupid or something? Okay, because you're a graduate. You think you can mess him up? Because he's not? Huh? The fact that he's not a graduate doesn't mean that he's not intelligent. So don't you ever, don't you ever touch my son. Else, else. Mama, you see this, you see this useless wife of mine? I am going to teach her a lesson. But why would you find it? Because I was, she's a woman, I... Oscar! Oscar! Oscar, open this door! Oscar, let me Mabel! Mabel! Mabel, what is your problem? Mind your business! Why are you shouting my son's name like that in Apuala? Eh? Look, she deserves whatever bitches she's getting in there. Mama, are you hearing yourself? Are you trying to say I'm deaf? Of course, I'm, listen, if you insult me, I will teach you the same kind of lesson. Mama, that please, I don't even have your time. Oscar! Oscar! Come and shut up! If you don't open this, I will call the police. Oscar! <laughs> Arsenal police in this country, Munaibi. Oscar! Come and call the police. I'll give Oscar, you, you will not beat your mate or beat your mother. Yes. You, are you, will, you will do what? Oscar, open this door. I will call the police. I will call the police. I will call Isabel, for how long has this been going on? Sis, please talk to me. 
He has been beating you all this while. He has been beating you. Even now that you are pregnant. Pregnant? She's pregnant. Yes, she is. And you watched your son turn my sister into a punching bag. But I, I didn't know she's pregnant. How would you know? What sort of a mother are you? Will you shut up? Don't you dance? So I will not shut up my we, mouth. Please. Why would you? 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 Why this whole thing is not worth it anymore because I'm no longer pregnant. What? What have you done? What do you think you're doing? Packing your things out of this house. You are leaving this house today because that is exactly what our father would have asked you to do if he was alive. Baby, do you think it's easy? This is marriage, not just a relationship. So you want to stay here and die in, in Oscar's hands? Mabel, you know me. Do you know how many people look up to me? Do you know how many people I motivate? That's the more reason you should live here now. Mabel, you want them to find out that the person who has been dishing out advices to them does not even have a perfect marriage. So you rather die? Is it not enough you've lost a baby already? Isabel, I don't miss any of your videos. In fact, I have a book. I jot down every single advice you give. And I remember, you said anyone in an abusive marriage or relationship should walk away. Do not follow what your fans will say, sis. Walk away. It's for your own good. Is everything all right? Uh, yes. I forgot the fire. Are you not Oscar's mother? Are you not that witch's friend that almost messed up my son's wedding over a bottle of malt? Please, I am here to see Oscar. Oscar or Oscar's wife? I said I am here to see your son, you Oscar. You don't shout or be rude, else you won't see anyone. She's here to see you. Isabel has gone to work, hasn't she? No, she lost her job. She's inside. Well, I have been trying to reach you and you have been unreachable. Is it that urgent that you, you, you can't wait here to come here? Oscar, it is not only urgent, it is very serious. How serious? This serious. You 
pregnant? For you. How? What do you mean how? No, Oscar, what do you mean how? When you were busy digging it in and out. What were you expecting to grow in my belly? An onion? No, no, no. What I'm saying is, I mean, the last time I checked, you, you, you married. <laughs> so, so how convinced are you that the baby you, you, you carry in its mind? Oscar, please. I can't even remember the last time I opened my legs for Richard. Not even four months ago. See, the question is, what are we going to do now? Hey, hey, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. hey, God, you're awesome. If I not can Now you see now. Hey, God is awesome. Mama, did you hear what I said? Hey, hey. Why are you not listening to me? It doesn't matter who's carrying the pregnancy. The important thing here is that you're going to become a father. Ay! Oh, one car, God is just awesome. So, are you advising me to keep the baby? What were you thinking? Were you thinking of aborting the baby? Hey, Mama, this woman is married, though. Be like, say you're never ready to become a, 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 a papa. You're never ready to get picking up, yeah? Listen, and listen, go. I think the best thing to do here is to divorce that your, your stupid wife. Hmm? And then tell the other lady to divorce her stupid husband and both of you would come together. That is called destiny. You are both destined to have a family together. And as for this, your stupid wife, pack and go. Pack and go. That's all I can tell you. The only reason I am not calling the police on you is because of my dear sister. Thank her. She has chosen to leave this house peacefully. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You mean your sister is leaving? I mean, like, really leaving? Never coming back? Huh? I am leaving, but I promise you, I will come back with the divorce papers. Oh, no, no, that's okay. I've been expecting that years ago. Oh, bye. Beast in human form. You will learn your lesson. I promise you. You will learn yours. Don't let her to talk. She don't shut the door, I tell you. <laughs> you see what we've been praying for? God has finally done it for us. This is not a problem. All you need to do hmm, is call that pregnant woman of yours. Tell her to divorce her husband. But if you will now settle and give me my children, give me my children, I'll be dancing Buga with them. What is going on here? Well, I am about to make your dreams come true. Was that? Was this? Divorce papers. Sign them and we are done. Babe, what are you talking about? Why are you doing this? Has it gotten to this extent? I thought you wanted me out of your house and out of your life. So why are you acting all surprised? That was just a mere threat. Really? Well, threat gone wrong. Because I am done with you, Richard. I am done with this charade we call marriage. 
Take your time. Go through the divorce papers and sign them. I'll be back to get them. You're joking, right? Listen, babe, if this is a prank, you have to stop because I'm not finding it funny. Really? I am not finding it funny at all. You have to stop this. Oh, wow. Does this look like a joke to you? Richard, I am done. Don't, 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 don't do that. Babe, listen. We can sort things out. I was just joking, I never meant it. We can get a marriage specialist, uh, a counsellor, or even a therapist. Let's sort this out. You know, you know I love you. Too late. Too late, Richard. Because I am pregnant for another man. Sign you're, what, you're, you're what? Babe, can you talk to me? What did you just say? You're pregnant for who? Are you deaf? I said I am done with you because I am carrying another man's child. And hey, I still have my bags inside your room. Please do not tamper with them because I will definitely come to pick them. Excuse me. Excuse me. Richard! You what? You're pregnant? Can you let go of me? No. Can you just talk to me? What is going on? I said I am done with you! You're you deaf! You're pregnant for who? Sandra, what's, what's going on? I am done with Richard, so I am leaving him. Sandra, this is not good now. I mean, how can you leave a man as good as Richard? Isabel, you are in no position to tell me what is good for me. Um, okay, I actually came to let you know that I've walked out of my marriage. I know. You know? Yes. And I am taking your place. Well, what are you talking about? I can say that you were not informed. About what? About the baby. Are you pregnant? For Oscar. Yes. And hey, 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 before you go about this whole betrayal talk, this is nothing like it, okay? This is just a case of you not knowing what you have. And I am taking your place.
Mama, Mama, just look out. Just look out. No food. How can we have a woman in this house and there will be food to eat? How? Because there is nothing to cook with. Huh? Yes, Oscar. Look around. This is your house. Look around. Is there any food stuff in this house to cook with? What do you want me to do? To turn into Gary or salt? Listen, that is not a problem. All you need to do is call your husband, darling. I need money for food. Eh? And he will give it to you. You know, Oscar, <laughs> see her condition now. She needs food more than you and I. Yeah, go me, go to go me. Oh, you can't talk. Did the calf bite your thumb? I do not want to believe that Isabel has been the one feeding you in this house. Bam, 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 bam. Don't say such a thing. A woman feed my son all the time. My son is a hard-working young man. That's you right. <laughs> okay, Mama. Ask your hard-working young man what he does for a living. Because since I came into this house, all he does is sit at home morning, afternoon, night. That's because I work for more. Yes, Mom. Yes. He he works from home. Yes. He works from home, Mama. From home. No problem. You work from home, yet there is no Gary. There's nothing in this house to cook. Keep working from home. Oh, you know how to do this. Stand, stand, where's my food? Come and eat me and your food. Mama, in my own house, she's insulting me. Hey, Natalie, you work from home. Can you do work in Emenabo? You're still sleeping by this time. It's past 2 p.m. What is wrong with you? Oscar, are you okay? Are you okay? Just give me that. Why are my clothes dirty? Do I need to remind you that it's your duty to wash them? Hey! Oscar, I can see that something is wrong with you. Something is definitely wrong with you. Are you mad? In our poor life, is something wrong with your head? Do I need to look like Isabel? In Ampola? Are you mad? How dare you? Boy, I am talking to you. Come on, stand up. What is wrong with you? Are you mad? Are you? Are you? Are you? Eh? Stop it. Stop it. Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? Children want to kill me in this house. Oh, 
Okwaka. Nah! Open it! Ha! It gets it where I'm gonna fall. Biko, open it! Open the door! Calm down, Joe. This is Oscar. We come in peace, and for your information, we are not here for you. So why are you here? Are you going to speak, or should I close my door? We brought this for Oscar. The divorce papers. It took you forever to bring this. Sandra. It's barely two months, and you have all these bruises on your body already. Isabel, let's go. Is this what you envied? Sis, what's up with you now? Why are you bothered? Listen, Sandra. It's not too late. You haven't even legalized it, I guess. You can still take a walk. Did you, did you just see her face? Let's go. But why are you bothered? Why are you so bothered? I told you. You're always bothering me. Woman! Woman! Leave my way! Leave my way! Mom. Man! Man! You are not leaving this room until you give me money. What money? What useless money? Uh -uh. Olga! Money to take care of myself! I am a woman. I need to take care of myself, Oscar. Just look at me. See what you've reduced me into ever since I came to this house. Give me money. And how is that my fault that you're like this? How is that my fault? Oscar, give me money. Where do you expect me to get money from? Where? Did you just ask me that stupid question? No, did you just ask me that stupid question? Oscar, can you even hear yourself? Can you listen to yourself for once in your stupid life? Eh? Wait, are you even a man? No, I am not a man. I am a cat. A I pussy am not cat! Surprised. I know you're a pussy cat. That is your father's name. But it is not my business. You will give me money. You will give me money. I don't care how you want to get the money. I don't care where you're bringing the money from. Whether you want to use your mother for rituals, I do not care. You will give me money else. Oga, you're not going anywhere. Sandra. Sandra. Oscar. Okay. Now that's the call you so. Make we see one die. Come and go now. Leave my way. Okay. Pass. One. Pass now. Appear and disappear. Leave my way. Okay. Sandra. Hey. Sandra. Hey, Oscar. Sandra. Oscar. Curry container empty. Rice container empty. Hi. So, Isabel was the one covering up Oscar's shame. She was the one providing in this house. <laughs> now she's gone. And we're all being forced to starve. Including the pregnant one. I got our mongwell and our boy. Why even bother? Let her come.
Why are you here? Get up. Leave my house. And never show your face here again. House. I will arrest you. Get out of my house. Thank you. Thank you so much.
just sit down and rest. Hmm? Go get me my bags. Hmm? Why? I want to go back to the village, please. Hey, Mama, not now. I just... Go get me my bags. I don't okay. want to die here. Uh, just hold on a bit. Let, let's just... Oscar. Mama. Get my bags. Mama, what? When one has gone, you will leave too. I, I, I cannot stay here I with you. Hold there, and you have every right to remain silent. Whatever you say or do may be used against you in the court of law. Now move in. Move in! Move it! Thank you. 
news is everywhere, sis. This is a pity. This could have been you, sis. But thank God you took the bold step and walked out. You know, I still can't figure out what Sandra envied in my marriage. <laughs> Is domestic violence a love language? Or being violent makes a man a real man? Sis, I think it's high time you told your fans your story. It would really be of help to everyone going through an abusive relationship or marriage. I think so too. Come here, sis. <laughs> 